Next up, we want to take the derivative of cosine of x. So f of x will be cosine of x. We want to determine what our f of x plus h is. So we want f of x plus h is equal to cosine of f of x. Wait, cosine of x. My god. What a mess I'm making for myself. Our f of x plus h is simply equal to cosine of x plus h. And the addition of cosines, just like the addition of sines, is not as simple as just cosine of x plus cosine of h. The addition of cosines, which is cosine of a plus b, follows the rule cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a mi minus sine of a sine of b. So this will be our f of x plus h, but rather than a and b, we will be replacing it with x and h. So we want to evaluate our f of x plus h. Let's just use this and replace all the a's and b's with x's and h's. Our f of x plus h will take the limit as h approaches 0 for cosine of x, cosine of h, minus sine of x, sine of h, and then we want to subtract off our initial function, which is simply cosine of x. Very similar to the previous process, all over h, I want to join all of the cosine terms, or the cosine of x terms rather. So I'll do the exact same thing as I did in the previous example, which is I want to join these, and I want to exclude this right over here and make it a separate term altogether. So we take the limit as h approaches 0 for cosine of x, cosine of h, minus cosine of x over h, and then we split this up into a different limit, which will be subtract off the limit as h approaches 0 for sine of x, sine of h, over h. So if we were to factor a cosine of x out of this limit, what we would be left with is the limit as h approaches 0 for cosine of x times, uh, times cosine of h minus 1 over h. Just as we did in the previous one, cosine of h minus 1 over h as h approaches 0, we can assume that this will go straight to 0. And then we want to subtract off the second limit, which here we have a limit as h approaches 0 for sine of x, sine of h over h. We know that these terms, sine of h over h, go straight to 1. So all we have left over is negative sine of x. And that is the derivative of cosine of x.